is Monday, January 31st, our last day of January. I'm going to put my name. I am looking at a worksheet that you probably don't have if you're at home. It says area of complex and or composite shapes rectangles that have rectangles and triangles on them or in them as part of them. We know that complex and composite are synonyms and we have another synonym that means a complex shape. Who can tell me one? The other synonym, we just talked about it. Cordelia? Irregular. Irregular. Those all mean the same thing. Yes, ma'am. I have another word. What? Abnormal. Abnormal is a synonym for irregular. Okay, here we have the area equals length times width. That's how you find the area of a rectangle. And then here we have the formula for the area of a triangle, which is area equals one half the base times the height. Okay? Uh, this is a fifth grade standard we know. Um, and in order to be a level four on the post test, which is Friday, you need to be able to find the area of a shape that looks just like this. Looks just like this one. So we want to spend just a little bit of time breaking these apart. So instead of break, oh, welcome back, Mr. Colin. How are you? Good. I just saw him for the first time. Did you get your paper? All right, thank you. So, um, we have been taking our other shapes and breaking them apart into rectangles. But now we're going to break our shapes into rectangles and triangles because we know how to find the area of a triangle. So um, let's look at this one first. Like I said, the one on the post test looks very similar to this. It just has some different numbers. And where should I draw my line in order to divide this into a rectangle and triangle? And I like it if we use words like horizontal, vertical, good math words. McKenna. Horizontal. Horizontal here. right here okay we're going to draw a nice horizontal line and that gives us a rectangle just go ahead and take your finger along the rectangle for me and i think it's pretty easy to see the dimensions of that rectangle who can give me the dimensions of the rectangle jameson 17 by 8 okay so in order to find the area of this rectangle we need to do 17 times eight. Now take your finger along the triangle. What is the base of the triangle? Everybody put your finger on the base of the triangle on your paper. We're not gonna work ahead and do the math yet. We'll do the math in a minute. We're gonna break it apart first. Good, I'm looking and I see this is the base of our triangle from here to here. How long is the base of our triangle? How, what is the base of this triangle? What is the length of the base of the tri triangle? Marin? See, that's tricky because it says 20 right here, but 20 is not referring to this line. Marin? 17, because we know that this and this have to be the same length. So this is actually 17 inches. Okay? The 20 is actually referring to the point to the base. Okay, that's the 20. So that is tricky. So you really have to think this doesn't make sense that that would be 20 if this is 17. Those are the same length. Okay, yes ma'am. You can tell me in a minute. You can come show me when I let people solve it. So that's the base of our triangle. What is the height of the triangle? Remember the height goes from the base to the tallest point of the triangle and it has to form a 90 degree angle, okay? So it always has to be from the base to the tallest point. How tall is the height of the triangle? How tall is our triangle, Gary? 12, how did you know, Gary? Right, because this whole thing is 20, this much of it is eight. Okay, so we have to do 20 minus 8. That means this much of it is 12 inches. So our formula for the area of a triangle is area equals 1 half the base times the height. 
And to do that one half, you have three choices. You can divide the base in half, you can divide the height in half, or you can multiply them together and then divide your product in half. Any way is fine, but there's one way that's easier than the other two. What's the easiest way to do it on this one? Is it going to be easier to divide 17 in half, then multiply by 12? Divide 12 in half, then multiply by 17, or do 17 times 12 and divide that in half? What's going to be your easiest route? Olive. Okay, you think you should do it that way? I was thinking differently. Avi? I think so too. I think the easiest way to do it here is to do 17 times 6. Okay, so our area equals 1 half of 17 times 12. Remember I told you that dot means 12. So I can cut that 12 in half and then just do 17 times 6. And I will get the same area. So now we know we have to do 17 times 6 and 17 times 8 and add it together. Everybody take a second and solve that. Lane, what'd you get? Okay, 17 times 8 is 136. 17 times 6 is 102. So if you add those two together, you get 238 square inches. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's do one more together. Let's do one of these tricky ones down at the bottom that has two triangles. Okay, so there's this one on the left or this one on the right. Okay. Okay, I'm looking at it for a second, and I'm thinking we're going to have to do a line here, right? Okay, and I'm trying to figure out how will I figure out the base of this triangle right here or the base of this. What do you think, Olive? Um, 14 minus 8. Well, but look. Gemma? Could be. I'm just trying to figure out how we would find out the this. If this is X and this is Y, how can I figure out the... It's really going to be six. It's a total of six, right? What? Okay, why don't we just name it? I think there's an error on the paper, so we'll just name them. This one we'll call four, and this one we'll call two. I think that's fair. Huh? Well, it's okay. We already just figured it out. Four and two. We're labeling it. Okay? Now, so here we have our rectangle. What's my length and my width of this rectangle? What's the length and width of this rectangle? Just this, right here. I should have more than three hands up. I should have hands all the way up. Hands halfway up if you can only tell me one or help me try to tell me how I might figure out one. Rowan. Eight by eight. Okay, this is 8, and this is 8. Okay, that's 4, and that's 4. That makes 8. So my area for this is going to be 8 times 8.
Okay, and then here we have the base times the height. What is the height of this triangle? What's the height of this triangle? It's from the base to the tallest point. What's my height here, Rowan? Four. And we know because this whole side is four, eight, and this much of it's four. So the height is four and my base is two. So the area here is one half, four times two, base times height. So what is the area of this little triangle? What's the area of this little triangle over here? Every hand should be up. I mean, four times two and cut it in half, or cut the four in half, or cut the two in half and multiply. It's pretty easy. Deacon? Well, there's no, oh, there is a five tenths. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One half times four and five tenths times two. So what I would recommend here is taking that two and cutting it in half. Is that what you did? So now it's really just four and five tenths times one, which is what? Four and five tenths. Okay, what about this one now? So now we have our height. Oh, Deacon, you silly goose. I was right the first time and you made me think I was wrong. This is not the height. This is the height. So what is the area? No, four. The area is four. Deacon, throwing me off over here. Okay, so what about this one? What about this one? The area is half of the base times the height. The height is four and the base is four. So what's the area? Sit up nice and tall in the front, please. Okay, why do I only have three hands up, guys? Cut the base in half or the height in half and multiply. Or multiply and cut the whole thing in half. Gary. Okay, four times four is 16. Half of that is eight. Okay, so what is the area of the whole shape? What's the area of the whole shape? Ethan. Okay, we have 64 and then we have eight and then we have four. So eight and eight is 16, 76 square feet. Okay, what's the perimeter of the whole shape? That's where you do need the 4.5 and the four <laughs> and the 5.6. What's the perimeter, the total perimeter? Everyone should be adding that. It's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Add them together. What are you getting? Everyone should be adding. No one should just be sitting there tapping their fingers. You should be adding those numbers together, the six sides. If you're done, you should have your hand in the air. Marin. That's what I got. 40, and how do we say that? Not 40.1, 40, 40 and one tenth feet. Okay? Okay, now let's look at this one. My Hummer, let's just quiet down for a moment. Okay, so let's figure out the base of these two triangles. Now this, I wanna point this out. When you're looking at these two triangles, you need to look at it this way. This is your base and this is your height. Okay, oh, well, I guess if I showed it, that'd be better. 
These are your bases. So, how long do we think these are? The whole thing is 22 and this much of it's nine. What do you think they are? Will? They could be. They add up to 13. What do you think they are, Elaine? Um, do you think they're the last one we did? Would be the last one we did together? Yeah, I'm just going to get you started so you can do it on your own. Deacon. That's what I think. I think they look like they're about the same size, don't you? So I think they're 6 and 5 tenths and 6 and 5 tenths. Now we're doing double fifth grade standard. Actually, that's going to be really challenging because you're going to have to cut it in half. You're right. It is. It's 3.25. Okay. Shh. Okay. You guys up for a challenge? Yes. Okay. You, the good news is you only have to do it one time. Right? So, shh. So, our area equals one half the base times the height. So what we just did was we cut that 6.5 or 6 and 5 tenths and half to 3 and 25 hundredths. And then times your height. Okay? The area of these two triangles is the same. But you, to find it, you have to do 3 and 25 hundredths times 5. Yeah, but you're still going to have an even number. It's still going to go out to the hundredths because you're going to end with 5 times 0.5 is going to be 25. 2.5. Yeah. You multiply 325 times 5, and I'll show you where to put the decimal point. Okay? So find the area of this part and this part and this part and add it together. When you finish that one, come up to this one. It's a lot easier. And this one, this one you're going to need to turn this way so you have your base and that's your height. Okay?